Good morning. It is Tuesday, March 24th, and this is Bed Talk number three. You've probably heard about TED Talks before, where a speaker gets on stage and shares an idea, an idea worth hearing about. And my good friend and fellow speaker, Dave Rendell, came up with this idea of bed talks because as public speakers, we're no longer getting on stages right now, at least not the way we're used to. And this is a different way in a bed talk to first thing in the morning, share some ideas with you that will help you navigate this time and your life differently. Today, I wanna to talk about defaults, specifically default buttons. You see, we all have them, but most of the time we're not aware of them. We have defaults set up throughout our lives. You know, on my payment systems, every system on the internet wants to know what's your default payment system. We have default addresses, but we have default mechanisms in our brain. And right now, unfortunately, the default that many of us are going to during this time is the default of cancel or can't or stop. I have a lot of meetings scheduled. That's the nature of my business. And here's what I'm finding. In fact, it happened this week. I had a couple of meetings scheduled and the people I was scheduled to meet with reached out and said something like, hey, was looking forward to meeting you. Obviously, we can't meet. Let's cancel and reschedule when this thing has cleared up. Same thing has happened with events. Now, events are a much bigger scale, but everyone has gone to cancel. And so the offer I want to give you is, instead of defaulting to cancel or stop or can't, switch the default button to different so that you default to different. So what I did this week with the callers when they said we need to cancel, I emailed back and said, I look forward to meeting you in person when we can do that. How about this week we do a Zoom call instead? Not only did I not cancel, but I invited the next best thing because a Zoom call is not as good as face-to-face. -face. As me, the big hugger, I miss the hugs, but it's pretty close. I get to see people's interaction. I see their body language and most important, I get to see their eyes and they get to see my eyes. So the default we're going to most days is cancel. If you've got an event or a meeting, we have to cancel the meeting. No, we have to do it different. I enjoy my cocktails, most of you know that. And right now, not having cocktails with anyone. But last Friday, I had cocktails with friends in Cleveland who created a virtual happy hour. I'm doing my first virtual happy hour this Thursday. A group of probably 10 to 12 people are going to get together with cocktails of choice in hand. Yes, it is BYOB when it's in virtual land. And we're going to be online on Zoom Meeting, connecting, sharing, listening, learning, just being together. We don't have to cancel. We don't have to disconnect. And so much of the language today, for example, isolate. Yes, it's important for physical safety to not be around other people right now, but it doesn't mean we have to stop the connections. So beware of your default button. Is your default to cancel, stop, or is your default now going to be too different? So switch that gear, and from now on, no matter what you're confronted with, start teaching your brain to default to different. It'll serve you well and the people around you. See you tomorrow.